Who should pay on the first date? Men. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, go ahead. We'll start here. We'll go around. Go ahead. I mean, I think it's like the traditional men pay, but oh. mm. I would never mind splitting the bill at all, and I would, I would never mind paying for it myself either. Okay, sure. I feel like it depends on like who's asking who on a date, um, but yeah, I'm not gonna like. It's a nice thing for a guy to like pay. Like it's definitely a plus, but it's not. It's not like oh, if you don't pay, I'm never gonna speak to you. Have you ever paid for a date? I have not, okay. but I wouldn't mind. Like, well, what's you your, said, actually, what's, what's your actually, dollar limit? No, actually, I did pay for a date. Actually, yes. How much was it? First date? Was it the first date? It wasn't a first date. Okay. But first it was like date. an eighty dollar. <laughs> talking first date here. Eighty. Mm-hmm. Well, and you also. Well, I'll come back to this, but you said whoever asks. So let's go around the table and before I come in. And okay, you, you give your take again. Go ahead. Um. No, I don't pay. You I don't, don't pay. No. Why? Because I've never been in the situation where I had to pay. How many, if you had to estimate, how many first dates have you been on? Mm, honestly, <laughs> I honestly haven't really been on a date in a long time because I haven't <laughs> found... Like, oh my God, John. I've been asked out on dates. <laughs> I just don't go because I don't think the guy is going to benefit me. I don't think I'm going to benefit fit from maybe yeah free dinner or something but is am i really gonna see something further with this man probably okay but so the question is how many estimate how many first dates you've been on i don't know 10 20 30 more maybe like yeah like 10 15 and all those times that did the guy pay um yeah okay i'll come back to that but i want to go around the table go ahead um, I think the guy should pay. Oh, okay. I usually would offer to split, but uh, it, uh, <laughs> but then I if would see how you, they react so to if me he ta- asking to sp- go ahead. So, if, okay, you offer, but if he takes you up on it, you're going to feel salty about him taking you up on it. I'm not going to be mad. I'll do it, but I'll probably not consider a second date. Because he took you up on your offer to pay? Or to split, yeah. rather? Yeah, because I don't really want to... If I want to be splitting dates with someone, I'll just go out with my girlfriends. Uh, I'm not really following on that, but I guess my question is, is why... Why? Because often you hear women say communication is really important, but when you're saying one thing, but you mean another... Well, I mean, I, I realize that... we're talking that, about a first date. Well, I, I don't you, really you said, know the guy. But you said that you offer. So I realize it's a token offer. It's not, it's like a polite gesture. But if you do offer, if you use your words and you say something, and then the guy, men are very overt communicators. So we're like, oh, okay, cool. And so if a guy were to take you up on that, be like, okay, we can, that's nice of her, we'll split. There wouldn't be a second date. Purely Um, based off of that. I believe so. I've, every time I've offered to split, it's never happened. Interesting. Okay, let's move on. Go ahead. Whoever asks. Whoever asks, okay. What about you? I always come prepared just in case. But I think whoever asks who on the date, I don't really care whether it's like a super cheap date or something more expensive. Like, I think just the gesture of being able to pay for the other person is a really nice thing to, like, for the receiver. I don't know. Oh, okay. We'll come back to that too. Go ahead. I think there's a lot of stigma and a lot of pressure for guys to pay on the first date. So personally for me, I wouldn't mind if they don't pay. Um, it will be nice, obviously, for me. Like, if the guy paid, I wouldn't mind. That would be nice. However, I think it is nice for the girl to pay, pay as well on the first date. Personally, I don't really, I really don't care. Like, um, I, I went on a date a few days ago, and I paid for the first date. Um, the so whole thing or split? It's all me. It was only 12 bucks, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> but even College. if it was more, I would definitely pay. Okay. Natasha? I think it is really kind and respectful for the girl to offer, but the man should step up and do it. Okay, I have a slightly interesting take on this. Um, So you said that uh, men should pay. Why? Um, I don't know. It's just my opinion. If the man is asking me out, um, then yeah, I think he should pay. If I'm asking him out... I don't know. He I'm should, not he really. Should still pay? No, I don't think. I've never asked a guy out. Well, there you, okay. <laughs> so, I've never been in the situation where 
I've even had to pretend to get my wallet out. It's always been the man but, but pursuing why? me, okay. I guess. But and I just prefer it that way. You prefer, I, okay. Yeah, I prefer a man who takes action and is kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't want to say like, I don't even know a good word to put it, but I'd want him to be like, just taking action, being a man, I guess. Being the leader? Yeah. Okay. No, not really the leader, but just being a man and stepping up and, <laughs> and being paying. Being the man, stepping up. Doing his manly Seriously. duties. Stepping up and not being the leader. Being, doing his manly <laughs> duties. Ste- doing his manly <laughs> duties. That's what I mean. E- equality when it benefits them. But mm-hmm. um, okay, right. so, so I want to bring it back to this. So. A few of you said whoever asks, right? So those of you who said whoever asks should pay, I think it was you who said whoever asks should pay. Oh, was it I you, know. you? Okay, have you ever asked a guy out? Into Mike. No, I have not. Okay. But what about you? Oh, I didn't say whoever asked, but I... Well, asked. who's... I, there's a lot of you. Um, not for the first date. Wait, okay, so... You've never, yeah, I'm talking about first date. Totally Have you ever asked a guy out for the first date? No. Okay, who said whoever asks? One of you two? Okay. Well, I mean, it's certainly convenient to say whoever asks should pay when you've never asked a guy out. Your answer may as well be men should pay, but uh, do you think, you said men should pay, do you think one of the reasons men should pay is because women spend more time and perhaps more money getting ready than men do? I don't know. Well, I'm speaking like makeup, for example. Women will typically put on makeup before a date, whereas men don't. Do you think... Men are obligated to pay because we get ready for them? Is that what you're saying? I've heard that argument from some women Um, before that... I don't know. Me personally, I just would... I mean, I don't know. It's different for every other girl, but me personally, I would just rather have the man pay because it's kind of showing what man he is if he's saying like... Uh Oh, like Alvin you Samson, pay. Oh, sorry, hold on. Nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Question to Banks: How can you complain about women being oppressed when you want men to pay for the date? The cognitive dissonance is insane. Send the asteroid. <laughs> hold on. Wait. There it is. Okay. Um. So, uh, do you want to respond to the TTS? Um. If. What do you mean? I, I, well, yeah, okay. I have the right to complain about women being oppressed. There's literally like laws trying to ban abortion. That's oppression in itself. There's systemic oppression. There's, it's been that way forever. Oh, geez. Okay. Why um, do I even have to explain that oppression? Like, why do I have to prove to you guys that oppression? Are you, so you're, are exist? you oppressed? I mean, I, I'm here Into to the stand. Mic. I'm here to stand up for women that are oppressed. Yeah, I don't. Like, what, what? I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of getting picked on here. Well, I'm just asking you some questions. So, 